Hello, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the most intriguing places on Earth. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of the mysterious dead zone on Mount Everest. Join us as we delve into the perilous realm where survival hangs by a thread. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss our thrilling expeditions. Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, has captured the imagination of explorers and climbers for decades. But amidst its grandeur lies a treacherous zone that even the most seasoned mountaineers fear, the Dead Zone. The Dead Zone Revealed The Dead Zone refers to the region above 26,000 feet on Everest, where the extreme altitude and lack of oxygen create an inhospitable environment for life. The atmospheric pressure is only a third of what it is at sea level making it incredibly difficult for climbers to survive without supplemental oxygen. In the dead zone, the human body struggles to function properly due to severe hypoxia, or oxygen deprivation. It's a battle against time, as climbers risk developing life-threatening conditions like pulmonary edema and cerebral edema. The Deadly Consequences The dead zone earned its name for a reason. Over the years, numerous climbers have lost their lives within its unforgiving embrace. Since the first successful summit in 1953, more than 300 people have perished on Everest, with a significant portion losing their lives in the treacherous dead zone. Entering the dead zone is like stepping into an alien world. The thin air makes you feel weak, dizzy, and disoriented. It's a constant battle for breath, with every step a monumental effort. Mountaineering Innovations the quest to conquer the dead zone has pushed climbers and researchers to develop innovative solutions. Supplemental oxygen is a lifeline for climbers in the dead zone. Portable oxygen bottles help replenish their bodies with much needed oxygen, enabling them to endure the hostile environment. Advancements in gear, clothing, and weather forecasting have improved climbers' chances of survival. However, the inherent risks of the dead zone remain ever present. Lessons from the dead zone the dead zone serves as a stark reminder of the limits of human endurance and the power of nature. Through the tales of triumph and tragedy that echo through these icy slopes, we learn valuable lessons about our own mortality, the spirit of exploration, and the fragility of our planet. Our expedition to the dead zone on Mount Everest has come to an end. We hope this journey has shed light on the extraordinary challenges faced by climbers in this perilous realm. Remember to stay tuned for more exhilarating adventures as we unravel the mysteries of our world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.